blood thinners, also known as anticoagulants, help slow down the formation of blood clots and reduce the risk of stroke or heart attack. Hi, I'm Chan Hong and I'm here today to help debunk some common myths about blood thinners. Even when you are feeling better, there may be existing blood clots or new blood clots forming in your heart due to occasional irregular heartbeat. In order to reduce the risk of its complications, you should not stop taking your blood thinners unless directed by your doctor. Some blood thinners, like warfarin, can be affected by sudden increase of intake of vitamin K. While it is true that dark leafy greens do contain high levels of vitamin K, you do not have to avoid the food. It is better to try to keep to a balanced diet with consistent servings instead. It is important to attend regular follow-ups so that your care team can monitor the effectiveness of your treatment. There are various laboratory tests needed to ensure that your blood thinners remain suitable and safe for you to take them. Different patients have different medical conditions. Some of those lower doses are prescribed for patients with other concurrent medical conditions such as kidney disease or previous history of bleeding episodes. Your doctor will recommend the right type and dose for you. Remember not to adjust your dose without seeking medical advice. Bleeding can happen to anyone if they injure themselves accidentally. Minor bleeding such as unexplained nose bleeding, gum bleeding from brushing our teeth too hard, or bleeding from minor cuts may happen. But it is important to know that this bleeding will stop when properly managed despite taking a while longer than normal. Remember to take extra care when handling sharp objects and avoid any activities that may cause injuries and lead to excessive bleeding. The most common side effects of anticoagulants is increased risk of bleeding. Patients should take note of any signs of unusual bleeding such as bleeding from gums even while brushing your teeth gently, excessive menstrual bleeding for women, excessive nosebleed, prolonged bleeding from minor cuts despite applying pressure on the wound. Be sure to update your doctor of these signs in your next visit. See a doctor immediately if you experience blood in urine or cloudy and dark urine, black, sticky or tarry stools not due to iron supplements, coughing out blood or vomit that looks like coffee ground, unexplained large bruises or purplish area on skin, sudden severe headache with nausea or loss of consciousness.